Ahoy, and welcome to my playthrough of Sam Max Beyond Time and Space, Episode 1, Ice Station Santa. Congratulations on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me. Congratulate the peacemaker. You crack me up, little brain salad in a blender, Mr. Spatula. He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh... His lust for power has twisted him into a mockery of the goldfish we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin-flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster. Mr. Spatula has become pure evil. Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch. Eliminate him. You are my idol. I didn't. Flint paper. Hiya, fellas. Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive PI business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? By the secret side burns of Isaac Asimov. My name Tron 9000! Destroy Salmon Max. Destroy Salmon Max. That's who, Mame Tron? That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hitman with lousy aim. Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on its smoking carcass. It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president, little buddy. It's our Salvia Hispanica Brady culture head. Safe and fun gardening at home with no threat of legal action due to trademark infringement. He's tearing apart the entire building. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. What goes up must come down. Why are you fools making all that damn wreck? Just to tell you once again who's bad. Police. Good arm on that one. I'm gonna tear your playhouse down pretty soon. He may be a mechanized engine of wanton destruction, but his taste in hideous middle of the road pop music is impeccable. Oh. This parking meter could withstand anything. Ah, parking meters. They're like the cockroaches of architecture. I've lost that loving feeling. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, Mr. Ginormous Wind-Up Toy of Destruction, sir. Yes? I don't suppose you'd care to stop tearing apart our building. Hmm. In truth, it does not matter. I exist only as a mechanized engine for destruction. What I do is what I am, whether I care for it or not. Oh no, Sam. He's been to community college! It's trouble, all right. Would you stop doing this, please? 
If you start me up, if you start me up, I'll never stop. Huh? I exist to destroy. I am carrying out my sole purpose of existence. So philosophically, the question is not would I stop, but can I stop? And the answer? No. Which raises the question, would I stop beating his rusty metal ass, or could I stop? Freelance police, you're under arrest. Put down the building and come peacefully, and only one of us needs to get hurt. I answer to no authority but that of my mechanized will. I've got to go where I want to go, do what I want to do. You seem like a smart guy. For a robot. Can you explain something to us? There is no question you could have that I could not answer immediately. Shoot. Metaphorically. Aww. Why are you doing this? I have no choice. The dictates of existential philosophy are clear. When a problem comes along, you must whip it, whip it good. Kierkegaard? Close. Devo. Do you have free will? There is no such thing as free will. We do only what we are predetermined to do. Hey, robot, would you be available as a witness for my next war crimes trial? I should have free time after I destroy you both. Great! What if everything is an illusion and nothing exists? That theory was refuted by the ancient Australian philosopher Newton John, who said, let's get physical, physical, I want to get physical. It's all so complicated. Why do fools fall in love? <sighs> Why do birds sing so gay and lovers await the break of day? What? Why? You were trying to destroy us. And worse, you butchered every song I wish I'd forgotten. And another one bites, and another one bites, and another one bites. I hope he didn't fall on anybody important. We'd better hurry down if we want to loot the body for spare parts. I call dibs on any delicious candy that might spill from his demolished innards. Question, Sam. How do you like me now, spatula? I'll ignore that question, Max. In order to say, look, holy knuckle cracking Kringles on a bullet train with a sack full of ketchup covered cheese logs. It does not say that. We were wrong about Mr. Spatula all along. What do you mean, we? This hitman wasn't sent by some lowly goldfish. It was sent from a bleak and desolate wasteland by the most ancient and powerful opponent we've ever faced. A hairy, bloated, pagan god! Santa Claus!
Well, here we are at the North Pole. When we find Santa, leave the talking to me. And the hasty trial, the harsh sentencing, and the immediate execution. Hold on. You can't be Santa's judge, jury, and executioner. Don't I get to do anything? What the hell are they doing here? <sighs> I don't know. This thing takes yellow snow and bleaches it into fresh sanitary snow. Want to have a snowball fight? Not without industrial goggles, I don't. Oh, hey look, Max. It's the soda poppers. Again. We thought you'd all gotten taken out in the Great Dakotan conflict. You must be relieved to see we made it. Right. Relieved. What are you doing here? We all got terrible presents from Santa. So we decided to come to the North Pole and return them. Better that than spending Christmas Eve with a shotgun aimed at the fireplace. Kids today have no respect for tradition, Sam. Why don't you go inside? We were on our way in when we heard some frightening noises coming from the workshop. It almost sounded like... Gunshots? Yeah, how did you guess? Sam, why am I the only one who associates Christmas with the sound of gunfire? Best not to think about it, Max. What did you get from Santa? A jar full of rhinoceros musk. Yes, another one. I got a see-through nighty. It's beautiful, but I don't have the hips for it. I'll trade you. Why? What did you get? Tuberculosis! <laughs> That's what I gave Sam last year. And that's why we no longer have secret Santa at the office. Aren't you guys governors of the Dakotas? We were, but that wasn't enough. So we annexed Nebraska. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a disagreement. With who? 2.5 million voters. They won. Are you going to run for re-election? No, now we're focused on environmental issues. We've got a new respect for nature since we got kicked out of the governor's mansion. Can we stay with you guys? No. no. We should be going. Christmas isn't going to save itself. Yeah, not like that snobby, self-sufficient St. Patrick's Day. Hey, my snowball melted. He's really let himself go. It's a topiary planted in a tiny clay pot. What's a topiary? That. Chocolate covered barbed wire. Wow, chocolate really does go well with everything. Santa's workshop, the second happiest place on earth. to help us, he'll kill us all. Now, Max is harmless, mostly. Not him, Santa. He forced us to make all those awful, hurtful toys. We don't know what's gotten into him. The snow will turn red with the blood of the naughty. The cartoons always made him seem a lot more jolly. It's the world's simplest maze. What's the big deal? All mazes are simple. Not everybody has your knack for lateral thinking and heavy ordnance, Max. It's a boxing Betty doll. The finest in remote control fisticuffs. 
Didn't the Mametron teach us anything about the dangers of playing with violent robots? Nope, I didn't learn anything. Good. I worry sometimes. It just wouldn't feel like Christmas without the needless destruction of an innocent bystander. What is this gelatinous goo? I don't know, but for once, I don't find myself wanting to eat it. There's a mailing label. To Santa, from Lower Manitoba. And they said Santa never gets gifts. I wonder why they call this the Flounder Pounder. Ugh. Fun. The Bop Buddy Pre-Adolescent Aggression Management System. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Mind if I keep cowering? I'd encourage it. Just remember to cower with your legs, not your back. Any idea why Santa went nuts? Beats me. I'm the intern. I just came off the assembly line yesterday. Jumping jacks and half stacks of hat racks. Are you saying elves are made in factories? Because if you are, I want to place an order for six million. Also, tell my army they're fired. No, I meant I was working in a factory. Ah, oh, that makes a lot more sense. What did the factory make? Elves. So what happened to Santa? Beats me. I'm the new guy. See anything unusual lately? Well, this morning, I could have sworn I felt the presence of an unspeakable evil. Tell us more about this unspeakable evil. I'd rather not speak about it. So what do you do here? I'm supposed to make this tree grow. How? By crying. Christmas trees love elk tears. Heck, who doesn't? It makes them grow up big and fast. But I'm too darn happy. I'll never be able to cry. What a shame. It's enough to make you cry. I wish. I bet we could make you cry. Thanks. I've been trying to cry, but I'm just too darn happy. We can fix that. In fact, that's about the only thing we can fix. If you want to make me cry, go ahead! We want to! We want to! Me first! We killed your dog. Oh, no! Yep, he or she ran right in front of our car, and, well... I tried to draw you a picture, but I ran out of red crayon. That sounds awful, but I don't have a dog. I know. We got him for you. And then we killed him. Feel like crying yet? Was he a good dog? Oh, yeah. Well, then at least he's in doggy heaven now. Start crying or I'm gonna dip you in honey barbecue sauce and throw you to a polar bear. Oh, goody. I love polar bears. Don't you get it? A polar bear would chop your head off. What? Nothing that cute could be dangerous. Ouch. I didn't think I still had feelings, but there they are. I'll pluck out your eyeballs and use them as Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, no! Wait, how am I supposed to cry if I don't have any eyes? We could try it and see what happens. Thanks, but I'd rather keep my eyes. In case no one mentioned this to you yet, you were adopted. Finally! I've been living at that orphanage for 30 years. It was starting to get pretty awkward. Where are my new parents? Uh, they just died. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. You've been fired. Oh, no, why? The children of the world decided they wanted two Halloweens this year instead of Christmas. If you feel like crying, now would be a good time. Or now. Or now. Why would I want to cry? With all the extra time to prepare, next Christmas is going to be the best one ever. You don't still believe in Santa Claus, do you? Sure I do. I saw him this morning. Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but uh, Santa isn't real. 
He's just make-believe. Like the Black Easter Bunny. Or elves. But I'm an elf. That's what makes this so hard. Wait a second. Are you saying I don't exist? Can you prove that you exist? Well, sure. <laughs> I, I mean, uh... No! I guess I can't. Ouch. <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> Surprise! We were lying! Congratulations, you exist. Nice try, but I don't believe in you either. Wow, I can't believe he filled up the entire can. Yeah, we must have really terrified the poor guy. Good work, little buddy. Oh, stop! <laughs> now you're gonna make me cry! Even when toys were made of wood, this would have been a disappointment. Collect all ten. It's one of those infinitely reloading cannons. Is it loaded? Well, yes. It even has the easy light wick. Toy Marie Antoinette sold separately. It's a toy bomber. Or a real bomber that just takes tiny warheads. Makes me wish we still had that box of tiny warheads. Not me. That was our best fishing trip ever. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Oh, sure. He's the one who put me in charge here. Was that before or after he went crazy? I'm not sure. When someone offers me a promotion, I don't ask a lot of questions. What happened to Santa? I don't know, but if you ask me, it was only a matter of time before he snapped. He's always been a little crazy. He has? Think about it. The man gives presents away for free. I always assumed he did it for the tax write-off. How do we talk to Santa? I don't think talking is going to do any good. All he wants to do is shoot everything. That's understandable. You gotta get his gun away from him, or he's gonna make us do bad things. Where are all the other elves? Santa fired them. To stay competitive with the other major holidays, we had to outsource our gift manufacturing. How'd the elves take it? They all got together and sang a farewell song. Oh, that's sweet. You didn't hear the song. Let's just say it wasn't very Christmassy. What's it like living at the North Pole? I wouldn't know. I commute. Who manufactures the toys now? It's all been moved off-site, so officially speaking, I have no idea. What about unofficially? Baby penguins. Why on earth would you use baby penguins? The adults refuse to work without a health plan. Do the baby penguins do good work? Sure, if you don't mind toys that have a slightly fishy smell. Giving them or receiving them? You can use the gift tube over there and see for yourself. Merry Christmas. Don't remind me. If we don't deal with Santa soon, we'll never make our shipping date. grow. Hey, Sam, give me the rest of those elf tears. I've got a date with an unsuspecting metropolis. Sorry, little buddy. They only work on plants. You win again, Tokyo! Christmas. We come bearing good cheer and high-powered pistols. <gasps> Sugar plum fairies! Santa, you okay in there? Ho, 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 ho! Eat hot lead, you little imps! Ah! Ah! Shh. They're exorcism instructions. 
Wicked! I want to do it now! But we don't know anyone who's possessed. Or do we? How do we start? Hey, kids. Want to silence those inner voices? Do I? No more messy arcane rituals. The My Little Demon playset makes it easy. First, signal the emergence of the demon with the four horsemen of the apocalypse action figures, sold separately. Aww. Ask your parents to help you place the horsemen around a powerful magnetic pole. Roman Polanski? Finally, draw the hell spawn out by singing the friendly demon song, using personal information about your demon. He won't be able to resist. This is gonna be the best Christmas ever! Performance reviews for young children. It's either a trip to the zoo or Santa's gotten remarried. Either way, I can't tell what he sees in her. Yeah, I think you'd need a wider lens. I'm pretty sure it's either Dasher or Dancer. It's an album of satanic Christmas songs. Oh, it includes the smash hit, the Friendly Demon song. I can't think of anything to say right now. It's Santa's hat. Do you think it's magical? Nope. The tag says it's 100% polyester. Wow, that's the exact opposite of magical. You two again! Hold still while I give you your present! Do you have any of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse action figures in stock? Nope. We shipped the last one out this morning. Where? Some wretched block of urban misery. Hey! We live on a wretched block of urban misery! With a diner, an inconvenience store, and a cast of shady ne'er-do-wells? That's the one! So you sent the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse to people on our street? Yep. How come we didn't get any presents? We did. We got a giant robot of destruction. Merry Christmas. If you say so. I wonder what the elves have on their office computer. Oh, let's read their email. It's a high score list for Mime Sweeper. Let's see. Prancer, Wiggles. Shambling corporate presents? How'd that get there? Well, pretty soon it's going to be all Max. Now, how do I start a new game? Sorry, I think it's Frozen. Computers and icy arctic wastelands. A bad combination. This must be what Santa uses to send presents. Cougar in a box. That's a pretty small box for a cougar. Yeah, it says some assembly required. Ew. Now we just need to attach a gift tag. Look, gift tags that say from Santa on them. Perfect. I've had a hard time lately getting people to open packages that say from Max on them. You only have yourself to blame for that. It was worth it. Who's it for? Actually, I can't think of anyone who'd want it. Let the winds of ill fortune carry it to an undeserving recipient, then.
Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. What's this? A clandestine meeting of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society? The cops are obsolete no longer! Welcome to the grand opening of Pimp Le Car! We offer secure upgrades to a very exclusive clientele. How exclusive? No one! Get what was here before you opened this body shop? A string of unsuccessful body shops. What makes you think you will have better luck? A recent influx of road debris will result in the projected 6-4% increase in revenue. Road debris? From the main trunk? My hero! No! A shipping mishap from the North Pole has resulted in a glut of unwanted torture me Elmer doll. Destroy them all! What have you got against Torture Me Elmer? Show off! My associates were once the most popular toys available, but no more. Beating up a doll cannot compare with the wonder and the excitement of arithmetic and grammar. Uh-oh, Max. I think the cops may have been educational toys. I knew there was a reason I didn't like them! So, do you know anything about cars? If we didn't, why would we open a car shop? Because you're lonely, forgotten machines who do anything to feel useful? Processing. Oh dear. Input appears valid. I just had a breakthrough! This is all about my dad! Could you guys turn the DeSoto into a hybrid? Damn heavies! We are not. I just wanted to be able to use the carpool lane. Since when do you stay in the lanes anyway, Sam? We'd like to pimp our car. Please make a selection from the following menu. If you'd like the exclusive Death Horseman hood ornament, press 1 now. And what else? That is all we have. There was an ordering malfunction. Totally not my fault! Actually, we also offer a wide range of completely worthless decorative decals. We'll take that Death Horseman hood ornament. Excellent! First, however, you must complete the Pimplica driving challenge. Oh, just give us the horse! Where is the fun in that? We've pooled together our years of experience in designing the most advanced computer games to bring you the ultimate augmented reality driving experience. Augmented reality? Yes. While you weren't looking, we placed a pair of our patented augmented reality goggles in your vehicle. You did? Through the miracle of augmented reality, your driving experience will be five to ten times more satisfying than ever before. Would you like to try the driving challenge now? Um, I guess that will be it for this episode. We'll get back to that in the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.